laying down the red carpet then as well. The Equalizer can be used as a CC tool as well as a heck of a lot of damage once the poke has been delivered. I do like the comp. Interesting. But QG, they reply very quickly as the LeBlanc has been locked in. Uh, it was a very, very long time ago. I don't remember. So loading onto the rift now, and we'll see whether it makes a difference. Bring the way less will somehow engage. Oh, there's a flash out of the way of the um, the chain as well as Wayless actually flashes away from Swift immediately. Don't be very, very low. Priority. Swift once again is here. Oh, Wayless was charging up the queue, but he's not going to be able to get it this time. Swift, his first successful gank, and Doimby is going to grab the first blood, and that's a big deal here for QG. Pondy, they yep. go 5-0. and zero. In fact, gives it to where the money is required, and V has gobbled up a rumble. Yeah, Marin actually has to use that scrap shield to get out. And V's hungry one more time. The equalizer comes out. Got the stun ready. Yeah, uh, looking uh, for it. Oh, going to land it onto Marin. Happy to tank up this turret because he's got a lot of grey health. Marin turning that one back around. Swift's up here. It's going to be seen by Marin. the ward. Wants the dive. Harpoon's going to be slowing down, but they're very, very healthy. Marin's going to be in a lot of trouble. They're just waiting for a minion wave, or at flash. least for the, <laughs> the okay, Tom Kenshin. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Swift is going to tank up the turret from the end, and V sets it up beautifully. And he was at four seconds of slow that seeks people. Wayless might be in trouble again. Yeah, he moved halfway up the lane, and that is exactly what he doesn't want to do. The clan's not going to be enough, and Wayless is going to fall as Doimby makes his way back to the lane. And Very much acknowledging this fact. Oh, Marin. And being the biggest pest in the world. They're yep. going for this. Yeah, there's the counter flash as well. Marin silenced himself. Just going to get gobbled up by V, and Swift is going to be there with even more damage. So the Tom Kench grabs himself his first kill of the game. The gets eaten up, thrown away from the turret. Now they're fighting over the dragon. Yeah, this is QG trying to pick that one up. It is going to be secured here by Amy, who has to flash if he wants to get out of there. But Doimby, oh my goodness, just gets punted out of this one. And LGD somehow managed to survive after the collapse from QG. LGD, despite the fact that they are behind, just with their team comp, should they try and fight as... Tom Kench oh is in. Oh my goodness, the ultimate comes down from V, and they are going to... Yep, just lock down Marin. This Poor is Marin. disgusting. Honestly, he is having the hardest game of his life. As much as possible, just to give room for a full explosive shot, but Amy has to use the ultimate. The pillar's down as well, slowing everyone. It's a double knock-up here for PYL, but it may not be what they're looking for. That buster shot was fantastic from Imp, as Peko's still trying to do some work, but no ultimate available. Or they could just... Oh, Marin. Oh, just diving Marin. Just over pop down the ultimate. over again. There is going to be the equalizer, but the Grey Health going to be doing so much work here for V. Marin took his time dying. That is about it. Amy's here. Yeah, he's making his way in, but Doimby's down here as well. The ultimate has been popped. It's going to be hard to get through this Mondo, but looks like QG are going to be able to. He's just going to get eaten. No, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Doimby just kills him. And as we were questioning Swift just a little bit earlier on, where he was unable to find the ganks on Damaran, but now everything seems to be falling into place. Two zero and three. I'm um, global gold. Damaran's oh been my, bullied that's not into okay. his base. That is not okay. You guys, it's cruel. Calm down. Cruel and unusual. As Marin does need to get back, the flash does come out, dodges out of the way of the culling, but Pekka, like, I feel like that was just an assertion of dominance. It was, and he's got the Essence Reaver in place and his zeal, so the cooldown reduction is there. Now Pekka dashing forward with the culling. Wayless takes half of his health. That dash was unnecessary. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, but misses the Chains of Corruption. In goes PYL. Actually managed to get a nice double knock-up, but the tower falls down. Equalizer's in here as well. This could be LGD's team fight if they can make it happen. It's only the turret that's fallen, and the piercing arrow not going to be enough. And Good point. It's two items here for the Tristana, though. As PYL, he's going to have to be very careful. Doesn't have the ultimate. Doimby's going to lock down that kill. Swift now turns his eyes to Imp, who has no turrets to go back to. Buster Shot's going to be there, but... Look at this Rek'Sai, doesn't care at all. Culling comes down, yep, like a typewriter. I'm pretty sure that all we've seen from Pico is the culling. Yeah. If you look at the opposition side here. Yeah. They're still good late game. Like, Lucian still does a whole lot of damage. Doing is always going to be relevant. Yep. Down for LGD as they are here in the mid lane, but... V's going in. Yeah, there's going to be a decent traffic cone there. Abyssal Voyage comes down. Piercing Arrow a little bit early there as Swift looking for the flank. Amy just tanking up as much damage as he can. The flank for Doimby trying Good to get equalizer. in there. Equalizer was in a fantastic spot, oh. but if explodes, V is going to be able to grab Amy as well, who tanked up as much as he could. Marin trying to do some work. Does pick up... No. Doesn't even pick up one as Doimby manages to get out. It's a double kill for V. <laughs> oh double kill for Pekko. Yeah. Right now.
And do you, do you know what Swift was doing that whole time? He was herding. Yeah. He was a shepherd. Yeah. That was all he did. He's like, this way, everyone. To not have a single kill is really indicative. To watch Amy losing a 1v1 against the Rek'Sai size Mundo. Yep, there says the, a lot. There, this, the Frost Green's claim comes in as well as the chains do land this time. It's going to get stuck up. Peko's going to grab it with another. <laughs> it's just a culling. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Lucian, oh, the culling man. God, yep. Oh, God, yep. Oh, Going in aggressive. Going to land a bit of a combo there, but... Just the brute force play. Of course, Baron was picked up here by QG. The inhibitor's going to fall down. Doinby puts his face in just for a bit of a look. Do a bit of damage. LeBron. And LGD look completely broken. Yeah. LGD, they might even just lose the game here. They need to fight, and they are. Yeah, another turret falls down. Decent equalizer there as Moore takes a lot of damage. Wayless is going to be able to take him down in the end. Marin at full health, but Swift is going to deal with the Varus very, very effectively. <laughs> and Marin gets eaten one more time. This is... A little oh, bit difficult Nexus. to watch. They got a kill. They did. Imp trying to do some work now as well as doing me very, very low on mana. That, that might be a way for them to work something out is make sure that they have no resources to do anything. But Amy's just going to get delivered to his team and Doimby might have enough wow. left. He does. Pop goes the Tristana. And that is going to be the Nexus falling. Ridiculous play out of QG. This is a team looking to prove themselves heading into the LPL and coming second in I Am Cologne was definitely not enough, Rusty. They also needed to make LGD honestly look silly.